I have had interesting encounters with traffic officers, especially the time I was still running my transport business, I had a number of interesting encounters with them. I don't know if you, but for me, I've realized that each time I'm driving a Ford Range or maybe any luxury vehicle, traffic officers never get to stop me. But each time I'm driving an older vehicle, they almost always stop me to check for road tax, for fitness, for insurance, for my driver's license, they check for the whole lot of things. Then I had an opportunity in one of my trips to the Copper Belt. I gave a lift to one of the traffic officers at Chisamba uh, checkpoint who was going to, uh, to Kawe. So I had an opportunity of finding out from this officer how they make this assessment and how they see who to check on and who not to check on. What he said to me was, was quite interesting. He said, if we checked each and every vehicle, there are two things that will actually happen. One, you'd easily get tired, especially if you're checking the trucks, because trucks are long. So you might have to walk 22 meters to check the rear side, then 22 meters back. So by the time you're checking 10 trucks, you are almost getting tired. So we need to make an assessment to save on energy. Then two, if we check each and every vehicle, we are, we are going to cause congestion. So as vehicles are coming in, we just make an assessment to say, okay, fine, this one might have a fault somewhere. Okay, this one might, might not have a fault. So we make that assessment. So there are some that we just give an indication to pass. For some, we stop them and check. After he explained all that he explained, I got one or two things that are very applicable in terms of marketing. When you are marketing your products or services, you cannot cater for each and every person. There are certain clients that you should target and know that, okay, fine, these are clients that may be interested in my products. You can leave the others aside. You just target, so, okay, fine, these are the ones that can actually buy my products. Take, for instance, uh, if you go to the malls, an average price for a Cambridge suit, uh, a black suit, just a trousers and a jacket, is about 3,000 kwacha. When you go to Cairo Road, an average price of a black suit is 1,500 kwacha. If you go to Comesa Market, the average price of a black suit, same, just the trousers and the jacket, is 700 kwacha. If you go to Kamala Market, the average price for a black suit is 200 kwacha. That is a trousers and a jacket. Now, despite the variance in these prices from 200 kwacha to 3,000 kwacha, all these businesses that sell these suits are profitable and they are making money out of selling suits but why the variance the answer is very simple these shops these businesses have targeted a certain market the kamala market has their own targets and the malls and those shops in the malls have their market but you look at the KOC that would be there if one of the shops in the mall dis uh, decided to cater for all clients selling suits from the range of 3,500 kwacha to 200 kwacha. Imagine the chaos, because what that simply means is those elite who buy those expensive suits, if they know that in that shop they sell suits for 200 kwacha, naturally, it would be a turn off for them, and they may not buy. Then those who also buy those suits for 200 kwacha in Kamala may not have an opportunity of going to the malls to buy suits there. So it pushes the business off balance. As such, it is imperative that you make an assessment and assess the market that you're trying to reach. And this applies in every business. If you're a photographer, don't try to cater for everyone from the corporate events, even to those people who are just moving in the streets. You need to identify the niche that you're trying to reach on. You need to identify the market. Only then would it work out best for you. So my call on you is, Identify the market that you're trying to reach on. Don't try to sell to everybody. Otherwise, if you try to do that, it will be a drain on your resources, on your time, and on your energy. So identify the niche and hit on that niche and hit it hard. This is Dumisani, and the future is bright.